Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna learn all about the iMenu and how to set it up on your Nikon Z8. The iMenu allows for quick access to the settings that you use most often without having to dive into the menu. It is bank specific though, so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're in your intended custom settings bank before we start editing. So let's compare the iMenu for my A bank to my B bank. I'm going to first access the custom settings menu by pressing the menu button on the back of my camera and then dropping down to the custom settings menu which is the little pencil icon. At the top of the menu you will see custom settings bank, select it, and then you'll be able to select the bank that you want to edit. Now as you can see I've renamed my banks to fit my shooting style. I named bank A handheld and it's kind of like my general purpose bank. My B bank is set up for whenever my camera is on a tripod. Let's take a look at bank A handheld. So I'm going to select it and then I'm going to exit out of the menu. So to access your iMenu quickly while you're shooting you just press the I button on the back of your camera. It's right above the multi selector and then you'll have access to those 12 custom settings to choose from. So let's look at my bank A. We'll start off on the top row on the far right side and you can see that I have that selected um, or set to select custom settings bank and this is where I have quick access to change whichever bank I'm in. The next one over is my shooting menu bank. The way Nikon has designed their banks, they basically have two separate sets of banks to change different things. I have my banks, um, both my shooting menu bank and my custom settings bank, I have them named identically. So if I change one, I need to change the other. So I'll go ahead and change that really quickly to handheld. Uh, next box over is my custom control shooting. So if you watch my functions, how to set up the function buttons on the Z8, you'll know that my function button number one is set to um, recall shooting functions hold. So this button right here gives me quick access to that so that I can change any settings if I, if I need to. Okay, better put my glasses back on so I can see. Um, next box over is my image area. Uh, I'm quickly able to change that to a different uh, aspect ratio if I want to see what it frame what it looks like at 16 by 9 or maybe a square format. So I do that a lot of times, usually when I'm shooting landscapes. Um, next one over is my monitor brightness. And then the last one on the top row is set picture control. And I think that's the default value, but this gives you a quick access if you wanted to go in and select monochrome or, or what have you. Okay, so that's the top row. And again, I try to keep that top row the same between all the banks for muscle memory. So the bottom row um, changes a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Um, the bottom right, I have it set to metering. That pretty much is the same for every bank. Uh, the next one over is my autofocus area mode or sub and subject detection. So if I want to go from shooting people to animals, I can make that change pretty quickly. Uh, next one over, silent mode. If I want to be a little stealthy. And then multiple exposure. I've been playing around with um, shooting portraits using the skin softening uh, feature that's new to the Z8. Um, so I have that uh, in my eye menu right now. I may move that depending on how well it works. <laughs> but, um, and then the next one over is my image quality. Um, a lot of times when I'm shooting handheld, I may want to shoot JPEG only, or I may want to do RAW plus JPEG. So I like having quick access to that. Okay, so that's my A bank. Let's go ahead and have a look at how my B bank is set up. And to do that, what we'll do is we'll we'll use this these shortcuts up here. So I'm going to go select my custom settings bank. I'm going to select tripod and then hit OK. And as a matter of habit, whenever I change my custom settings bank, I always change my my shooting um, bank as well. So I'm going to switch that over to tripod. Okay. 
So again, the top row is identical as what we just looked at for my handheld. So it's set up exactly the same. Down below um, on the bottom right, my metering and my autofocus area mode subject detection, um, the settings are the same, but they're actually, if you, if you remember, I was in, I think I was in large area with um, uh, human auto or people <laughs> subject detection. So you can see that it sets a single point autofocus and that my auto um, focus subject detection is off. And this has to do with my photo shooting bank being set to be. If I change this photo shooting bank back to, um, to my handheld, you can see that the area of autofocus area mode and subject detection has changed. I'll put that back to B. Okay, next to silent mode, that's the same. And then I've got multiple exposure. Next one over is focus shift shooting. I do a lot of focus stacking and I also shoot a lot of time lapse. So I have those two that are a little bit different than the others. Uh, the other bank, which allows me to make those changes when I'm on a tripod. Okay, so that's my menu set up for bank A and B. Now let's learn how to customize a bank by editing my iMenu for bank C. So let's first see what bank C's iMenu looks like. Um, I went ahead and reset it to the default. So I'm going to go ahead and select custom um, settings bank C. Hit OK. And as you can see, this is um, a lot different than what I had uh, my handheld or my tripod bank set to. So this is probably, if you haven't messed with your camera much, this is what your iMenu is going to look like. Um, it may work for you, most likely it won't. So we're going to go ahead and edit it. Now, since I've already set up bank A kind of the way, it's kind of like my default setup, um, I'm going to go ahead and take a shortcut and copy my my settings my custom settings bank a to bank C and the way we're going to do that is press the menu button and then let me put my eyes on we're going to go to custom settings menu select the bank that you want to copy so in this case handheld so I'm going to select that and then I'm going to go in and manage it and I want to drop down and copy and it's asking me now, choose my destination. So I'm going to want to copy it to bank C and I'm going to hit OK. And now copy is complete. So I'll go back and you can see I now have two banks called handheld. So I'm going to want to rename that. And so I'll go to bank C and I'm going to select it and then just go up and select rename. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this. Bank C is my fast action for shooting wildlife and, and sports. So I'm going to go ahead and just quickly rename this fast action. And then hit OK. And then go back. And now you can see I have my fast action renamed. OK. So let's go ahead. I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to go back and have a look at my I menu. And you can see it looks exactly like handheld. Now, most of these I'm going to keep the same, but there's two that I want to change, and that's skin softening and multiple exposure. So now to change those, what I need to do is select the menu button, make sure my custom settings bank C is selected, and then I'm going to drop down to controls, F controls, and then go to F1, Customize iMenu, and select that. Okay, so for the most part, this is my fast action, so I'm shooting sports, I'm shooting wildlife, I'm on and off tripods and gimbals, shooting handheld. Um, so I wanna, most of these settings will work except for two of them, and I, I don't need multiple exposure, and I don't need skin softening. So, Let's go ahead and change those. And the way I'll do that is select menu and then go to the custom settings menu again. So that's the little pencil and drop down to F controls and then go to F1 customize I menu. Now, when you get into this 
into this page, you will see that you can see your I menu, but now you can customize all of these boxes. So we want to change the skin softening. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and press OK. And then I'm going to drop down to um, vibration reduction. If I can find it. There it is. So since I'm shooting on and off tripods, I want to be able to access this vibration reduction to turn it on and off as I, I see fit. So I'm going to highlight it and then select OK. So now that's set. Uh, the other mode that I want to set or change is multiple exposure. So I'll go into multiple exposure and let's see, I'm going to drop down to my pre-release capture options because shoot a lot of sports, shoot baseball, soccer, and um, I may want to set it up for the pre-release capture. All right, so that's my eye menu. It looks pretty good the way I want it for fast action, for sports, for wildlife. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the menu. When I'm done, select the eye menu, and you can see we have vibration re reduction now and pre-release capture. All right, well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you have a good grasp now of how the eye menu works on the Nikon Z8 and how to set it up. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And if this video was helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up because it helps me with that YouTube algorithm, and I do appreciate that. I have more Nikon Z8 videos on the way, especially setup videos, and I'm putting them all right here in this playlist. So make sure you subscribe so that you're notified when I release another video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.